I want to talk to you about Squarespace online store and this is a tutorial on how to create set up and launch a Squarespace store seriously Welcome back folks to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> Today's conversation will be a tutorial on how to create, set up and launch a Squarespace store. And what you want to do it seriously, okay? Let's first talk about the templates. So when we have a conversation about Squarespace, we are speaking about templates first because the, the platform has a constellation of templates that you need to choose from. Okay. Squarespace is a website building and hosting company based in New York City. And uh, what it does is it provides software as a service for website building and hosting and allows users to use pre-built website templates and drag and drop elements to create and modify web pages. So besides website building and hosting, Squarespace provides a plethora of services. I want you to look right now on the screen with me. This is a great company. They offer a lot of services you can see on the screen here. So besides the uh, the templates, they have uh, they have uh, you can uh, do a website analytics. They have connected services. They have you can sell products. You can sell services. You can actually do blogging. This is kind of cool. You can do email marketing. They have SEO tools. They have social media tools. They have a video maker. So you can see here that Squarespace is really good. They are constantly innovating. And uh, so let's start. You want to click get started on the home page and access the templates page. Everything on uh, Squarespace starts with templates. OK, so now you have on the screen all the constellation of templates that Squarespace offers many templates. You can filter by type online store, portfolio, membership, blog, scheduling, one page or topic. So it's either by type or topic. So you want to choose one that fits your business model. And for this exercise, we are choosing the online store type as this is the topic of today's show. Okay, you can you can see the first screenshot there and then the second screenshot. So for topic, we keep popular designs, but you filter, you can filter based on the topic of your store. OK, so this is kind of cool and uh, it's very important to understand that when it comes to choosing the right template, you want to pay attention to a few things. First of all, you want to browse designs. OK, so you can visit uh, Squarespace uh, template store and you want to click preview on any design to see its demo site. That way you have a clear idea of what you're getting yourself into. You can see on the screen here we have the difference between Baylard and Paloma, for instance, you can preview everything. And you can also choose your templates based on the needs. So you can choose portfolio website templates and themes, e-commerce website templates and themes, blog website templates and themes, small business website templates and themes, professional CV, personal, personal websites. The thing is a lot of people, when we, when we talk about Squarespace, they think you have to uh, sell something. No, you can just use the, the platform to build a personal website a professional CV website. You don't have to necessarily be in online commerce, e-commerce to use Squarespace. Let me talk to you about the product. So once you have chosen a template, you need to set up your store, right? So you need to create your account. Follow Squarespace quick tutorial on how to set up your store. And uh, you need to pick a template and start creating your store. You can edit pages. You can create pages. You can style your site the way you want it. One thing I want to say here is that it's very straightforward. You don't need to have a PhD in programming or coding to actually because uh, everything starts with the template. So it's a pre-made, it's pre-built for you. You just got to modify. And uh, for, for us, we, pick, we picked a fashion store template. So after you do this, after you pick the templates, you need to add products to sell, right? So with Squarespace, you can sell physical products. 
digital products, services, subscriptions, and gift cards. So no matter what product type you want to sell, make sure you have imagery that speaks to each individual offering. So if you're selling physical products like handmade ceramics or custom artwork, you can simply take photos of each of your pieces so that your future customers can see your items. If you're selling, say, uh, digital products or services, you may have to get a little more creative with your imagery, right? So this is something that's really important. And if you don't have access to uh, imagery, you can actually explore stock imagery options to find something that will work for your site. So Squarespace has that. And uh, you can see on the screen here that you need to explore your website through the template you, cho you chose, right? So look at the, the shop version, the shop model on the screen. Or the lookbook the about and the contacts so those are the different pages of your templates you obviously you can add more so for us here i'm showing you the shop the lookbook the about and the contact and you can uh, and once you do this you need to add products so here are steps you need to take to add products you can see that step number one you need to choose the product type physical digital or service Step number two, you need to edit the product information. Step number three, you need to set pricing and stock levels. Step number four, you need to add the product variants, right? So here we're speaking about image, SKU, units, price, sales price. Step number five, you need to add tags and categories. Remember that the tags must be 80 characters or fewer. Categories must be 25 characters or fewer. Tags and categories are case sensitive, very important. For example, if you enter Apple with capital A, it's not the same thing as uh, Apple's or Apple with the lower, with lower A, lower case A, right? So it's very important. You wanna add product weights and dimensions. This is optional. And you also need to create a subscription. This is also dimension, it's also um, optional. What I'm trying to say here is that everything depends on the kind of products the kind of service you are selling and the kind of audience you are speaking to. All right. And then you have to think and save and think about also shipping. So you have to restart the process for another product or product type that you want to add. Let's talk about payments. It's important to connect a payment processor. This is the third step here. So first step, you need to choose the, the, the template. Second step, you need to add products. Third step, you need to connect a payment processor. So you basically giving customers more than one payment option to complete a purchase. This is really good. So Squarespace support industry leading payment processors like Stripe, Apple Pay and PayPal for online sales and Square for in-person sales. So if you like to connect Stripe, you, there is a process that is uh, very straightforward through Squarespace. If you like to add a PayPal account, this you can do also. Okay, and uh, so get started in payment settings. So in the home menu, you want to click commerce and then click payments. So for Stripe, you can see here how you connect Stripe. So once you do this, you are letting customers pay with a debit or credit card without creating or logging into an account. So Stripe accept payments from this card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express and Discover. But Discover, it's only for US merchants. And you can accept Apple Pay for customers checking out on a supported device. So after connecting your Stripe account, you will receive a notification from Squarespace. And you also have PayPal. This is kind of very good also. And uh, PayPal, you have uh, PayPal is supported nationally and internationally. This is kind of cool. And you can also connect Square. So with Squarespace point of sale, you can use Square to process in-person cash and card payments that integrate with your online store. So you'll set up this integration in the iOS Squarespace app. And then we also have uh, another payment option, Afterpay. So with After we have actually covered Afterpay on this show before. With Afterpay, customers can pay for products in installments with 0% interest. This is, um, this is part of what we call the buy now, pay later sort of uh, apps. So you can, you can actually enable Afterpay if you have connected Stripe as a payment processor and if you meet the eligibility requirements. So all I'm trying to say here is that you have a constellation of uh, payment options, okay? So we have Afterpay. Of course, there are processing fees for each processor, Square, PayPal, Stripe. 
So you just need to, uh, based on your service, based on your products, based on your audience, based on your geography, you need to go to the Squarespace page once you log into your account to see the processing fee. For example, I can tell you right now that Afterpay's processing fee is 6% of the order total plus 30 cents. And this includes Stripe's processing fee. Let's talk about shipping, folks. Obviously, we are still having a conversation about Squarespace Online Store, and this is a tutorial. And you need to find a shipping option that works best for you. So for instance, if you are selling physical products, you'll need to add a shipping option to your online store. You can offer flat rate shipping, rates by weight, carrier calculated, or free shipping. You can also add a local pickup option for customers who want to collect their orders in person instead of waiting for them to be shipped. Of course, you don't have to add a physical shipping option if you're only offering digital items or services, right? So make sure that your shipping options are in sync with the kinds of products you're selling online and how far you need to send them. So you can see on the screen here how you add a shipping option. So you have the flat rate, depending on the weight, the carrier calculated via FedEx, carrier calculated via UPS, Carrier calculated via USPS. You can also set up pickup options. Pickup is a fulfillment option for physical products. Okay, without a clear checkout and fulfillment experience, now your customer, with, with that kind of experience, now your customers can purchase your products online and pick them on site. And uh, additionally, you can check out Squarespace third party shipping and fulfillment extensions to help you ship products manage returns and keep customers informed with branded tracking and notifications. This is kind of cool. This is this, those extensions are really, really good. If you're interested in one of them, this is really good. For example, you have Aftership. This is the first screenshot, the second screenshot, the third screenshot, and the fourth screenshots. So besides Aftership, we also have Easy Ship first screenshot, second screenshot, third screenshot, fourth screenshot. You have others though, folks. We can't really cover all of them here, but the, you, there are a lot of uh, third-party shipping and fulfillment extensions for, uh, for Squarespace online store. So you have uh, order desk, you have return center by after ship, you have ship Bob, you have Shippo, and you have ship station. We have actually uh, compared and contrasted some of those uh, players. If you're interested, go to our e-commerce database, our e-commerce playlist, and search for ship station or ship Bob. You will see our video about that. I'll be right back. Right after this, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Studio Kiwi Show. We are also having a conversation about um, how to create and launch a Squarespace online store for real. Number five, you want to pay attention to taxes. You need to make sure you set up taxes properly. Very important. So Squarespace has uh, built-in tools and works with third-party extensions to make taxes simple. So depending on uh, where you're located, you'll have to set up taxes for your online store that reflects the laws in your geographic situation. This is very important, folks. Don't play with that. And so if you're selling physical products, for example, you may be required to charge sales tax in your home state and where your customers are located. Alternatively, you can add tax inclusive pricing. So the sales tax is simply included in the original price of the product. This is kind of cool too. Let me give you an example. If you sell in the United States and are on a commerce plan, you can use uh, Squarespace tax jar integration to automatically calculate sales tax at checkout for free. So you can see here, uh, tax jar, the integration, the first screenshots, second, third, and fourth. You can also try to set up automatic tax rates in the U.S. Okay, so if you sell in the U.S. and you can and you use in a tax jar for your tax uh, work, you can do things automatically. It's important to understand that 
The text jar extension only includes the automatic tax rates feature, which calculates accurate sales tax on orders at checkout. So for more tax jar features, including economic nexus monitoring, reporting and filing, you want to upgrade to tax jars professional plan. Okay, so this is something you need to be uh, to be aware of. And uh, there are other players. Tax jar is one example, but there are other players. And uh, the bottom line here is what? Bottom line is that you want to pay attention to your taxes in uh, Squarespace because not only at the IRS level or at the state level, there are consequences that could actually uh, put you out of business. And uh, in the last five years, based on our research, the IRS as well as states tax authorities have been cracking down on um, folks on online entrepreneurs who are not paying their fair share of uh, their fair share their uh, fair share of taxes remember that sales taxes is not a liability for you as an entrepreneur right because you're actually collecting the, uh, the tax from uh, the customer and just transferring that money to the authorities but you got to have you got to set it up in such a way that you can track it you can uh, you can uh, evaluate you can report on it very important this is why you need an extension such as tax jar let's talk about promotion folks how do you promote your online store so you've done all the work you have a setup the, you have picked the template important you have chosen the, the products you have added the products you have uh, put imagery everything that's fine it looks fantastic you have set up payments you have set up shipping you have taken care of uh, taxes now you need to promote your your store because you got to make money right you can connect your social account to your website to automatically share content from your site with your followers and there are a lot of uh, connected accounts available on uh, Squarespace Everything from Facebook to Dropbox to Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, SmugMug, Tumblr, Twitter, you name it. Ciao now. Everything is there. You want to download the Unfold app to add a bio site to your social media profiles to drive uh, traffic from your social channels back to your website. And the Unfold app is owned by Squarespace. Just, just want to say that. And you want to share original content. So when we speak about promoting your online store, your Squarespace online store, you want to share original content. You want to make a professional looking ad. If you are interested in that kind of uh, adventure, that kind of strategy, you can use Squarespace Video Studio to help boost your online sales and increase engagement. As you can see on the screen here, this is a great, um, a great article by uh, Brianna Flaherty on uh, Squarespace. And, and she talks about how to create an excellent, an, an excellent um, video ad in minutes. And in our view, this is an excellent tutorial on how to create that. Okay, this is kind of cool. Also, you may also want to think about Squarespace email campaigns to communicate with the folks you, with the, the folks who visit your, your online store. Based on our analysis, you can actually increase your bottom line if you email more efficiently. If you enhance your brain, you can uh, use your analytics to target what kind of visitors you want to target. Okay, you can send blast or automated campaigns. It really depends on your audience, of course. You can track results. You can link to campaigns. All of those things are possible in Squarespace. You can even add a newsletter block to your online store and give visitors the option of signing up for your emails. You can create unique email content or use existing blog post and product listing to populate your emails okay this is kind of cool and you need to choose a storage option for form submissions and uh, you can actually uh, connect email campaigns a new mailchimp audience google drive or squarespace zapier integration remember that zapier has both a free plan and premium plans starting at twenty dollars so in Squarespace, the Zapier integration is a premium feature available in business and commerce plans. You can also think about building a mailing list if you're trying to keep in touch with your existing customers to uh, inform them of upcoming sales, new products, and other business updates. The seven steps here, folks. You want to think about sales. Are you selling in person? Or are you having uh, 
are you just doing like online sales? If you're selling in person, you got to think about the point of sale in the Squarespace iOS app. So if you sell products in person at markets or craft fairs, you want to download the Squarespace iOS app to access point of sale. And with this app, you can use a Squarespace integration with Square to take cash or card payments that integrate with your online store. This is really good, especially if you're looking into if you want to scale down the road. This is really good. OK, and uh, Squarespace, by the way, is also available on Google Play. You can use Squarespace analytics to track performance. You can do a quarter over quarter, month over month, year over year. This is really good for long term analytics. For example, in the sales panel, you can see crucial insights like how much customers order on average, how your sales change over time and how much a unique visit is worth on average. So you want to keep an eye on uh, your traffic analytics as well as your sales by product analytics to see how your promotional efforts are working and which channels drive the most traffic to your store. OK, and all of these insights will help you continue to edit and improve your online store as your business continues to grow. And so the question is, what should you sell online? We talked about that the, the fact that Squarespace allows you to sell digital products, physical products and so on and so forth. OK, you want to pay attention to three things when it comes to products you want to sell online products or services you offer and how they serve your customers or clients. You need to specify that this is how you actually differentiate yourself. You want to think about the quality and professionalism of your e-commerce website and branding and the support and consideration of customers through their purchasing experience. Those are the this is the trifecta that will set you apart from competitors. All right. So this is important. So you want to identify an idea. You want to think about what you enjoy doing. You want to uh, think about what you have experience in and what industries are currently growing. The bottom line here is that you're not selling something that is not appealing to customers. You're not selling something in an industry that is uh, faltering, right? That is lethargic. No. And you want to think about a long term here. What are the pros and cons of physical products? What are the pros and cons of digital products? Where is the where is the juice? Where is the highest profit margin? This is the kind of conversations you need to have with yourself and with your team, because every type of a product has its pros and cons, whether we are speaking about a physical product or a digital product. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about Squarespace online store setup and launch, and I spoke to you about the templates, the product, the payments, the shipping, taxes, promotion, sales, and so on and so forth. Fantastic. I'll see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>